Time management for students. Time is a finite and the most valuable resource that you have as you work. No student has more time than the other. There are 24 hours in every day and that is the same for everyone. Time management for students and everyone else is about being purposeful with your day. Developing an organized approach to your studies is an opportunity to learn how to work more efficiently, which in turn can help reduce stress levels, especially during exam periods. Time management is not a skill that was taught when growing up, but if you learn how to do it, you can maximize your learning with the time you spend on studying. By planning ahead, although it may sometimes feel like a waste of time, you will be able to stay on track, accomplish more, and gain huge time savings. Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. The Importance of Scheduling Good timetable helps you identify what you need to do, prioritize urgent tasks first, and how much time you need to complete it. Planning allows you to process how you are going to use time as this can help you avoid repetitions. Make sure you have enough time for essential tasks and understand what you can realistically achieve with it. By scheduling, you can think about what you want to achieve in a day, week, or month. It helps in tracking your progress for the day and the next days when you plan for the long term. How to schedule and plan ahead Set a regular time for scheduling. It will take just a few minutes to plan out your day. A simple way to schedule is by using a pen and paper or a weekly planner. But there are tools and time management apps that you can use like Google Calendar and MS Outlook. Your daily plans can contain a day-by-day -day list of your assignments and activities. A weekly plan is a way to organize your day-by-day -day plan and have an overview for your short-term plans to create an overall plan for the week. It contains lists of upcoming tests or due dates of projects to be achieved over 7 days. Identify available time. Have a realistic timetable and establish the time that you want to make available for your work to make sure that you don't overwork yourself. Try time blocking. Time blocking is a time management method that asks you to divide your day into blocks of time. To start each day with a concrete schedule, that lays out what you'll work on in a specific time. The key is to prioritize your task list in advance and schedule high-priority and urgent activities. With the time blocked in advance, you won't have to make choices over again about what to focus on. For your schedule to work, it has to be realistic. Don't forget to take breaks between study periods and reward yourself to give you motivation to put extra effort. Just develop and stick to this regular routine to help prevent procrastination. Set proper goals Part of proper goal setting is being able to break large goals down into daily tasks. When a project feels like such a huge task, it's easy to procrastinate. As time management expert Laura Vanderkam told us, the best thing you can do is to start very small. Decide what the smallest, most doable next step is on a big project, and then list out all the next steps along with the deadline for each. For example, you are going to write a 3,000 word essay. Rather than being overwhelmed by it, you might break that project down and set the goal of writing 500 words in a day. 
This way, you're focusing on making progress, not just the end result. Eliminate distractions There are a lot of activities that can distract you from your schoolwork: Cell phones, social media, and friends. Put your phone on silent or in do not disturb mode and close the necessary tabs on your computer. Any time blocked in your planner is dedicated to working on schoolwork. Find the right place to do work. Some works best with background noises, but others need a completely quiet place. Researchers suggest listening to classical or instrumental music to improve concentration because music with lyrics can be distracting. Take breaks effectively. It's no surprise that many students spend their breaks updating Facebook or calling or texting friends. Although enjoyable, activities like social networking can significantly increase stress. In addition to that, constant engagement with social media also reduces your ability to focus and effectively learn. Some good old-fashioned exercise is a great alternative to hopping online during study breaks. A 10-20 to 20 minute nap is another alternative that can significantly increase productivity and academic focus. According to a 2012 study conducted by the researchers at Case Western Reserve University and Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital. Get enough hours of sleep. Even one night of short sleep can affect your performance the following day. Getting enough sleep is important to recharge you and have the energy you need to stay on track. We are what we repeatedly do. Following your morning routine sets up yourself for a productive day ahead, while your evening routine sets you up for a successful day ahead by planning for it the night before. Take time to develop these skills to help you organize your studies. Having a system will make sure that your days are the best that it can be. Please like and share. Goodbye!